So as you all know, CES 2019 is going on back in Las Vegas and I was watching it pretty closely because I thought the Sony a7S III was gonna be announced, but unfortunately it was not. However, there is a camera right now at CES 2019 that is getting a lot of attention and that is the Sharp 8K video camera. They actually don't have an official name for it just yet. But this is what we know. It's a micro four thirds camera that shoots 8K H265 up to 30 frames per second. However, they're saying they're trying to push that to 60 frames per second. It has a tiltable and flippable LCD screen, which is super nice. It has USB-C, an actual HDMI input and image stabilization, which at the moment we don't know if it's IBIS or digital, whatever kind of stabilization it has. And it's gonna be around $5,000 or below. But we still don't know a lot of things about this camera. I know it's sad because camera makers are just making high resolution cameras and video cameras. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they would focus more on color science, dynamic range, and low light capabilities because to me, that's more important than resolution. Because let's be honest, who's actually shooting 4K and delivering 4K right now? Except for Hollywood, of course. There's not a lot of people who are actually shooting 4K and now you're gonna come out with an 8K. That's just kind of crazy, but unfortunately that is just a race. Everybody's trying to get higher resolution. But like so far, like I said, even though this camera looks great on paper, we are gonna have to wait until NAB when they said they're gonna officially announce this camera, which is only a couple months away, to actually be able to see if this camera is gonna be good. Now Sharp is an electronic company. They make TVs, they make uh, refrigerators, they make a lot of appliances. And actually two years ago, they released or announced a $77,000 8K broadcasting camera. So they've made cameras before, or at least uh, attempted to make cameras before. So they're not completely new in this whole camera game. But they're gonna have to answer questions like dynamic range, low light, ISO, color science, and then bit rate, bit depth. Like, what are we looking at? There's still a lot of question marks for this camera, but so far it is very interesting. I am definitely gonna be watching this closely. If you wanna read more about this camera, go ahead and head over to 4kshooters.net. It's probably one of the coolest camera news websites that I've ever been in. I'm not just saying that because they featured one of my videos. No, I, I am actually saying that because they featured one of my videos. Anyways, are you excited about this camera? I know I am, and I'll see you guys later.